Hey you guys, someone asked me an interesting question. What if you have like a find field where you enter a, a certain um, a certain find request and you want to perform a find with the value in that field. Now what you're supposed to do is use your uh, mouse to click but some people prefer to just hit return. But now if you hit return, you're kind of creating a new line. Wouldn't it be handy if you could just type something hit return and your find would be performed. Uh, so let's try and see if we can figure out how to do that. Now there are multiple ways to kind of solve this problem. The first one is if you are inside a field, you could also just hit tab. And if I tab, I go into this next field. But what I could do is I could go into layout set tab order and I could just change the tab order. So now it goes one, two, three. But what I could do is I could make this find button my third step so that it comes in the tab order right after my find field so i'm going to turn this into three and when i do that this one will automatically turn into four so that when i'm in my find field and if i type something i can hit tab and then i'm immediately on my find uh, button so then i can use either my space or my return to perform the find so that is the easiest way to do this and now this button isn't doing anything yet but let's see if this button works by adding a single step let's do a show custom dialog and let's say success it works okay so that could be uh, a test to see if this button works so what we could do is just go in here we can type whatever we want as soon as we hit tab we can either hit space it works or we could tap and hit return and it works as well so that's the easy way to do it now what if you really want to just be able to type in here and then hit return and have the script run uh, that moment there are some functions in FileMaker that we could use to make that happen so what we would have to do is we would have to capture the return key so um, and that is an action and an action can happen um, like for instance here when we go to layout setup we have script triggers those are uh, like events that trigger the performance uh, the running of a script now that's kind of what we're going to need to do because we this button would normally be attached to a find script but now we're going to run that script when we do a certain action and that action is hitting the return key so you have a bunch of events here you have on record load, on record commit, on record revert, on layout keystroke, and that looks like an interesting one. The script will be run when a keystroke is received on this layout or on any object in this layout if it is not handled by an on object keystroke script. Now, the thing is, if I have, and this looks like it's interesting, but if I have on this layout, for instance, like I have here a text field, I might want to be able to enter stuff in there and hit returns here as well without running this find script. So I need to be more specific. I don't want to trigger this on this whole layout, but what I could do is I could just go to this field, go to the script triggers, and then I can find an on object keystroke script trigger for this specific field. So that is interesting. So the script will be run when a keystroke is received for the active selected object. Okay, and we can select the script, so that's kind of good. Um, but now, uh, we need to figure out exactly how we're going to um, run this script uh, on a specific key. So what we want to use is that return key. So now we need to kind of learn how to tell FileMaker um, that it needs to look for that return key and then if that return key is pressed it needs to do a certain kind of action. So let's see if we can get some help in FileMaker and there are certain functions that we can use like get trigger keystroke and this one returns the character that activated an on object keystroke or an on layout keystroke script trigger. So uh, this uh, will tell us which key has just been pressed. Now, if we're gonna do this on object keystroke, this script will run every single time that we hit the keyboard. So we're gonna have to then search for that specific return key. Now, how could we do that? We could use the code function because the code function returns the Unicode code points for the character in the text. So we can use this one to figure out which uh, 
kind of Unicode code point our return has. And this all sounds complicated, but let's just uh, figure it out very easily, right? Let's go to File Manage Database. What we can do to figure out what character we're looking for is just enter that character in a field and then get the Unicode code point. So let's do a calculation field code and then let's make that under the type a calculation and let's just simply say let's create this one and let's simply use the code function and then let's say give me the code of our find field and this is going to return in a number it could be a number it could be text let's uh, let's do text for now okay let's hit okay let's add this code calculation field to our layout let's just put it here nicely to the side and then let's make it nice and big. So now it gives us a huge number because there's a bunch of stuff in here. But if we delete everything, this one gets empty. Now if we just simply hit return, this is gonna tell me that the Unicode for the return key is the number 13. So now we're gonna have to um, look for this number 13 um, in this field. So what we can do is we can use this other function, this get trigger keystroke to find out um, whether if that code 13 was entered. Okay, so let's make a script for that. We're gonna do a script, script workspace. We're gonna make a new script and we're gonna do capture return key. And we're gonna start with an if statement where we're going to say if the uh, code And let's go into the function setup here. If the code of the get trigger keystroke, and you have to be careful here because one bracket has just been removed here, so I have to add it again. If that equals our number 13, then I would like for my script to run. And let's do a test here as well. Let's do a show custom dialog. Yippee, it works. Okay, let's see if this runs. Let's save the script. Let's close it. Let's go on to this one. Let's do a set script triggers. Let's say on object keystroke. I want to capture my return key. Okay, we can test this now by uh, taking out our, if you have FileMaker Advanced, our script debugger and our data viewer, which is actually still on. It's just up there. I'll make this a bit smaller. There you go. And I'll get our data viewer as well. Make it small. Okay, cool. So let's um, get into this field. Let's, oh, as soon as I type in this field, this script is of course going to run because it's on the object keystroke so it's going to uh, uh, run every single time I hit a key. So uh, if the code is 13, let's see what it does. It doesn't do anything because the code I just typed a backspace and so that is not uh, the key and so it kind of uh, jumps over that. Okay, so now in my find field I can just hit uh, whatever, I do an F, no I can't even type an F, F. Okay, nothing. I can type. Oof, I'm. Uh, seems like I'm getting out of. Maybe I have to try without this one. Okay, it is working. And let's hit return. Oh yeah, as soon as I hit return, it works. So what we can do, or oh, the annoying thing is that now a return has been added in here, which is not really necessary. So what we could do is add a commit in here so that as soon as I hit the return it gets captured and my um, my field gets committed which means that um, it kind of uh, gets saved the way it is so that return is probably not added let's try out to see if that works let's save this script let's empty this one for a second and then let's type in here find okay I can add a space find this okay nothing is happening let's hit return it works let's hit OK and no return has been added. So that's kind of cool. Um, I can now use a key to um, kind of 
take over the function of this button. So I would still leave this button and you can still tab ahead and hit um, space or return or whatever. But now if you hit a return in this field, you're kind of capturing that. And you could also use this to maybe prevent people from putting a return in, in, uh, in a field. Sometimes maybe they accidentally hit return instead of like tabbing out of a field. And you could use this kind of script to prevent that from happening as well. And of course here, uh, where we do the show dialog, you can do anything you want. You can hit, uh, you can hide a uh, perform script in here that runs an entire script. You can do basically whatever you want. Um, you can also turn these around if you want. So anyway, that would be a good technique to uh, capture a certain keystroke in a field and to then run a script. Okay, ciao. If you guys want to learn a ton more about FileMaker, you can head over to my Udemy page where I've got a bunch of entire FileMaker courses online. You can follow them and basically we make entire FileMaker systems from scratch and I'll take you uh, on the entire process step by step. There is even one that is uh, completely free, so you can just follow that free of charge and that is a beginner tutorial where we make an entire contact database. Um, that's a really fun one that you can follow that can teach you the basics of FileMaker. So head over there by following the links in the description and I'll see you guys there.